Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda, and this is Gizmo. We're the village's newcomers. We told you that we're going to start a series about home maintenance. You know, here in Florida, there's some things that we need to do that we didn't really do back in Indiana. I know. Now, today, we're going to do something that people should do everywhere, I guess. Okay. But we never did when we were in Indiana. Oopsie. Here, it's common to hire somebody to clean out your dryer vent once in every couple of years. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's ever been done here. I guess it's a fire hazard. I think sure. your dryer works more efficiently. Mm -hmm. So you want to have that cleaned out. It's not that difficult a job. I bought dryer vent cleaning system. And what it is, is a set of interchangeable brushes that fit on the end of little rods. You screw them together and lengthen them as you put them through. Mm -hmm. And they spin on the end of a cordless drill. And uh -huh. uh, you clean out your, your uh, dryer vent that way. And so we're going to do that for you today. We are so lucky to have a handyman in the neighborhood that does this kind of thing all the time. Now, I think it's something that I could do myself, but I'm going to let him talk us through it today on the video, and you can do it. If you want to, to look into a product like this, you can get it on Amazon.com, and I'll put a link to that in the video description today. And uh, we're going to go see if we can clean out that dryer vent. This is Tom. Every neighborhood should be so lucky as to have a guy like Tom. Tom is an ex-military, retired Marine. Uh, he's a, uh, been an over-the-road trucker over a million miles. He can fix anything, and he's volunteered to help us with our video, and we're really happy that you're here. Thanks, Jerry. Appreciate it. We have this kit. It's called Blue Sea, and it's got an assortment of rods and brushes that are going to fit through the wall here. What other tools do we need, Tom? Um... Uh, a drill driver and uh, a shop vac, Jerry. Can you save the mess? You'll be surprised at how much stuff comes out of that flue. Um, other than that, maybe a screwdriver or pliers to get the, uh, the the duct off the back of the dryer. Other than that, we're good. I just use a rigid, uh, this is an oldie but a goodie, 18 volt, and it's got an adjustable head so we can put the end of those rods in here, which are going to spin to get out the dust. And any old shop vac will work. So I guess the first thing we need to do is move the dryer out. Yep, we'll unplug All it. All right, let me get this stuff over here. Work. We're going to unplug it. It's a 220 electric dryer. Some of you will have gas dryers. And then we'll have to be careful pulling it out because of the accordion hose on the back. We don't want to tear that. Yep, I took care of it. It's off already. Okay, hose <laughs> came off. Quick detach. Okay. So we need to shut the water off. Yeah. Okay. That's not a common one. On this dryer, we had to shut the water off. It has a steam option. And um, I'll lift this up if you I want to grab that hose off. Under. Squeeze in there, I think, Jerry. Now we can pull it out a little bit more. I think we'll be okay. We got enough room to work. These laundry rooms are not very large. Now, this is a designer home. This is very typical. Some people actually even have smaller. All right. Okay. That one's good. Okay. All right, Jerry. Well, you take this um, one section at a time. They're flexible lines, flexible pieces of plastic, and they'll be inserted up. The brush is the same diameter as the duct work is. I'll start with putting two of these together. Something very important very important to remember is the fact that you never ever want to put your drill in reverse when you're working with these or you'll end up having a section of this stuck where you can't get at it and have to right it would it just unscrew apart. it correct so that is imperative but you okay. kind of see the idea and as soon as we get going you yeah. can see already just in the foot we're in there how much is coming out. By the time we get done, going all the way to the roof, we will have a lot. 
And so you'll know at home, this Blue Sea kit does have a, a cap that will go over that pipe. And you can hook your dust collector, your uh, vacuum right to it to eliminate this mess. But we wanted you to see what actually comes out. We'll kind of support it as it goes up. Now this is the first time we've done this, so we've lived here three years. We're probably getting a little dust out of there from the previous homeowner, do you think? <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> I know when I did mine, it was, uh, I believe we waited two years to do it, and I was really flabbergasted at the amount of piled up uh, lint we had. And of course, up on the roof, there is a outside vent that comes out on the roof for the village's homes, and it goes into a an exhaust that kind of looks like a J. Um, ordinarily we'd climb up on the roof and and uh, clean that out in the outside also because it in a J shape the lint tends to be trapped right there but yeah. I think down here we can get at it pretty good I know I had gotten mine clean I did go up on the roof and not much left when we got done doing this. Now I see you put on two more sections of, of uh, rod and you're going to go clockwise with that make sure we don't unscrew it and feed it up. Oh yeah. So we fed that all the way, now we have to add more rods. Now this came in several different options. You could get 20 feet, 25 feet, or 30 feet. Hopefully I bought the right one. <laughs> Gonna put two more sections on and feed it up through. Tightens it into the chuck. That's a pretty good pile of lint already. Yeah, we're probably what, halfway up, I guess. Can understand why it's a fire hazard if you don't do this fairly often. Two more sections of rod go on. And that's a hand tightened chuck on the drill. They're almost all that way now. It used to be you had to have a key to do that, but he's just gonna tighten that up by hand right there. And here we go. I'd imagine that lint is very flammable. It'd be probably a good fire starter if we were. I would certainly think so. Out in the wild. <laughs> Two more rods. I wonder uh, if we have enough. I hope so. <laughs> we'll go until we feel the resistance on the roof. We'll know we, we got to that connection up there. I tried to do a mental calculation. I think we do have enough, but we'll see. Wow. 
I suspect we're at the end, you right? All right, very good. We get resistance, so. Okay. We'll take these off two at a time, but never reverse it. And we'll also remember that as we come down, I need, might need the pliers out of my toolbox. Just going to reverse the process, pull it back down through. They got tight, didn't they? Yes, they did. Just knocking those loose so you can pull them apart by hand. Put it back in the box. They'll be ready in a year or two when we do it again. Still turning clockwise because he doesn't want to turn it counterclockwise and leave a piece of that uh, rod with the brush stuck up in the uh, pipe. Look at that mess. There's probably something we could put on those threads to make it easier to unscrew next time. Possibly. Although, I, you know, there's a lot of force yeah. going up in there. A lot of torque. Yep. And there we go. All the pieces are back. All the lint is right there. We'll suck that up with the dust collector in just a minute. Put the dryer back after we hook up the hose and uh, we'll be back in business. Yes, sir. I can do some more laundry. <laughs> but uh, if you decide to use the cap, that's going to go on. There's a fitting that's in the other room, but there's a this. We'll yeah, there's a fitting. We'll go over that pipe. And the, uh, the and dust collector goes in there. And then the rods would actually come through here, so it'll right. be sitting up in the. And that way, you eliminate any in. any dust at all getting into your house. But this is nicely contained right there because of the nature of that uh, big channel, that that uh, cut out in the wall there. Most of it fell straight down, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. All right. I love this little shop vac. I think, I and that's think. wet and dry as well. All right, can you Here you go, right over your head. Oh, okay. There we go, we're plugged in.
that has a band to clamp on it. He's just sliding it back over the the pipe. Going to tighten that clamp up with a couple of turns of the screwdriver. And that's that. And then we'll have to attach the other end of it down here on the back of the dryer. You can see there. Can, can you push it back another couple inches, Jerry? Yes. Thank you. Push it back into place. Got it plugged in. We're ready to go. Oh, I'm fine. Connections are all made back here. And that's a job well done. So there we are. We used the kit. We went up. How many sections did we put? Maybe six, seven? All but two that were in the okay. box. Okay, so we put on as needed. We knocked all that lint down, vacuumed it up, reconnected the dryer, and we're good to go. Anything you would coach people to think of or look at before they do a job like this? I'd simply take my time, think about the safety that's involved, unplugging things. Um, the hardest part is getting behind it and getting back <laughs> out from behind it as you reconnect all your duct work. But other than that, you know, you go until it stops and you're just patient and you don't go wide open with your drill, just a nice smooth circular motion. Amazing what comes out. Yeah, and that's easy enough to do every year if we wanted to, but I don't think we need to. That was six years of lint. Yep. So it wasn't a whole lot, but it was substantial enough that I felt like it's a good thing to get. So I was interesting to see yeah. that for what, 30 feet up to the roof, you can get that much lint stuck to the inside of a, a dryer flue, so. The most important tool in this whole process this guy right here. I hope you have one in your neighborhood. <laughs> so that's it. You know, we did it. It took about 30 minutes. Uh, it's the Bluesy duct cleaning system available on Amazon. It was about $30. Again, I'll put the link to show you how to do it. It's always better to keep your things clean. Yes, absolutely. You know, to keep your dishwasher filter cleaned out, your, right. your dryer filter cleaned out, your, your duct work clean. You know, we just want everything to go smooth and we don't want any surprises down the road. We're going to bring you shows like this every once in a while and we hope you enjoy them. If you liked our video today, please press that like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. And until next time. See you when you get here.